How many of you eat at least a cup of fruits and vegetables every meal? Cup of fruits. Kaya lang ay walang fruits eh. So how many of you know we should be doing this thing? Me. So, we all know we should be doing this thing, yeah. but we don't. And, and I can't say we're uneducated. And that's the first point I want to make. Uh, that I'll try to make. I think I'll try to talk about counseling. Why it's not useful make Congress magkakon na pilit ng pilit. Now, why don't we just counsel people to stop smoking? And then, why legislation works? Proof that it works and then bad news. Bad news. Okay? So, ito yung study, an uh, interesting study uh, by one of our colleagues in ano, uh, London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. He studied 55 clinical trials. Alam niyo ba yung clinical trial? Yeah. A patient given drug A yeah. and drug B, random. Ano. Ito patients given counseling versus no counseling for behavior change. So, ang dami niyan. It's one of the biggest, most well-studied uh, interventions, yung counseling. Yung counseling nila, 4 to 54 sessions uh, from 2 weeks to 3 years using trained counselors, using handouts and video aids uh, and lectures and one-on-one -on -one counseling. So, matindi. Hindi yung basta-basta ginagawa ng doktor na, oh, Ano man kumain ng sobra, hindi ba tapos na? This is serious counseling. Uh -huh. It lowered cholesterol by a very small amount. And blood pressure by 2 to 3 millimeters mercury. It was very expensive. And it lowered smoking rates from 30 to 27%. Did not prevent heart disease, stroke, and did not make them live longer. So ang point sa study... It's very expensive, very difficult. The effects are very small. And ang worry ni Shah Ibrahim was, paano yan? Ginagawa to ng lahat ng third world, uh, developing uh, low to middle income countries are pouring their money on education. Uh, and sa akin, the biggest proof that it doesn't work is doctors. Because doctors smoke, they don't eat healthy, they don't exercise, they studied for 10 years. Ganun pa din. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, pasyente, banata natin yan ng education, hindi yan hihinto ng tobacco, hindi yan mag-exercise, hindi ka kain ng healthy. No? So, iniba yung concept ng NCD, yung non-communicable disease, mga sakit na hindi nakakahawa. Everyone's in the a health, right? The water? Yeah. Lifestyle. 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 Yeah. Ang theory dati, you have this chronic non-communicable diseases, heart disease. Yan ang main four. Eh. Stroke, heart attack, cancer, and chronic lung disease. And you're predisposed to that by things you're born with. Your blood sugar, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and your body mass. Hereditary yun eh, hindi ba? That's aggravated by things you do. Behavior, when you smoke, you don't eat healthy, you don't exercise. Pero kung yan lang, Dapat, when we educate, people improve their lifestyle. It doesn't. So, recently, uh, it has been proposed that baka there are also, that the predisposing environment also plays a big role. In infrastructure, if we don't exercise, kasi walang open space to exercise. Mm -hmm. Exercise ka sa edsa, di namatay ka. <laughs> Mag-walk dito. Uh, poverty and low education uh, is also a problem. Uh, I'll show you data later. The poorer you are, the higher, the poorer your lifestyle. Uh, and taxation, prices of tobacco, price of... Why don't why? people eat healthy food? Mahal. 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 Because of so, the... sabihan mo siya mag-exercise, wala naman silang pupuntahan. Sabi mong kumain ng healthy food, mahal naman. Sabi mong stop smoking, no? wala ka namang alternative forms of leisure. That the cheapest form of leisure for the poor is smoke. They will not play tennis or <laughs> They will smoke for that, Please. you know, three minutes of relaxation and enjoyment. Yang focus on poverty, 
uh, wala silang access to preventive measures. Okay? Prevention is a uh, healthy lifestyle is expensive. That means they're at higher risk for the non-communicable diseases. That means, and then when they get sick, wala silang pambayad. So they die more, yung mortality. That's already proven. No? Death, if you're poor, you're higher risk of dying of heart disease. Uh, of heart attack, if you're poor when you get the heart attack. And in the presence of limited reserves, that leads to catastrophic health expenses. Alam niyo ba yun? Catastrophic health expenses when you spend more than 40% of your liquid assets. Catastrophic yun. Impoverishment is when your income crosses the poverty threshold. Mga $1 a day per person, I think, at the moment. And that aggravates poverty. Ang tawag namin dito ngayon, it's the NCD poverty loop. Okay. And madaming evidence na yan. Uh, that's a revolutionary measure. That's the basic justification for tobacco tax. You cannot tell people to stop smoking. You have to enable them. You cannot tell them to exercise. We need to improve our transport system and provide more open space. Ito yung just one proof of that. A Malaysian friend of mine did a study. Health, wealth, quintal. So the, the richer you are, the less you smoke. Sa Malaysia, noong 2011. Sabi natin, interesting naman yan. Gawin nga natin sa Philippines, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar with other colleagues. And we found out, <laughs> pare-pareho pala tayo. Ay, and then, mas namamatay nga ba? So we did a study on the 10 Southeast Asian countries in the world. In 10 Southeast Asia pala. Rank according to national income. Sinong nasa kanan? Singapore Bilin. and? Malaysia. No. Brunei. Brunei. Malaysia, banda rito. So tayo, gitna. Ito pala. Ayan yung distribution. Myanmar, ano, pinakamahirap. We're somewhere in the middle with Indonesia and Thailand. And if you rank them according to death rate, the yeah. richer you are, the lower the death rate. Oh, so, so, that show, these are two proofs that the poorer you are, the more likely you are to die of non-communicable disease. Okay. So, Legislation is one way to change lifestyle. And quickly, I'll bring you to the... I'll skip the campaign. Kasi si, you know, nakakatawa sabi niya, wala naman nagkakasakit sa mga tobacco farmers. So, unang meeting na on tobacco tax, one of the first few meetings in the Senate. Parang gusto mong ganyan ninyo ulo mo. Uh, so we had to show them this. How do we know that tobacco causes diseases? We know it through cohort studies. This is an example of oral cancer. Uh, an investigator followed up 20,000 healthy smokers for five years uh, to find out who develops cancer of the mouth. <laughs> cancer of the mouth. Okay. <laughs> Pero, doesn't mean uh, well, some of them also ended up with ano, nothing. Cancer. And then compared it with non-smokers. And follow up five years. So, yung, ibig sabihin, hindi dahil smoker ka, magkapa-cancer ka. Meron ding wala. Hindi ibig sabihin, if you don't smoke, you will develop oral cancer. So, tinignan how many develop oral cancer. 37 of 100,000 sa mga non-smokers. 152 of 100,000 sa mga smokers. So, if you get the ratio, ilan yan? Seven. <laughs> so, baro one cannot be. It's, it's called the relative risk. Okay. 152 divided by 37. Fourfold increase in the risk of cancer. So, yan lang yung sa mouth. Or a pharyngeal cancer. Okay. There are 20 other cancers from head to foot. Ang remarkable dyan. From uh, the smoking? 13, 11 fold for female, 13 for males. 
Laryngeal cancer. Laryngeal yes. cancer. Uh, breast cancer, meron din vulvar cancer, bladder cancer, uh, and other cancer. Penile cancer, huh? lahat. Uh, and mga vascular disease. Stroke, heart attack. Alam natin, high blood lang yun ano, no? In fact, smoking causes more stroke so, yeah. than hypertension. Skin. Stroke, atherosclerosis, pneumonia. Uh, tuberculosis, hindi ko nasama rito. Uh, 50%, 1.5. Tapos mga diseases of pregnancy, uh, etc. And chronic lung disease. Marami disease. There are 42 life-threatening diseases. And may mga non-life-threatening naman. Ito lagi kong pinapakita sa senators ko. <laughs> Kasi sa kanila, life-threatening yan. <laughs> the, the main argument naman, knowing that, bak hindi natin taasan ang presyo ng The main argument, I guess, is this. Well said by Senator Marcos. Sabi niya, we should not kill the goose that lays the golden egg. Oh, si, sinabi rin niya nung isang araw, Joyce. Si Gordon, Gordon ba? Kill the goose that... So sabi namin, parang hindi naman ito goose. At, at ito, hindi naman to egg. And this is not Aesop, that's what this means. So Aesop must be turning in his grave. Okay, so we had to... Uh, we, we got the bill passed, di ba? In 2012. And then, I'll show you the impact of syntaxes. Keeping some. Sa health na lang muna. So, this is a study. Blah, blah, blah. 10,000 households. Before and after. Tobacco tax was passed. Pinakita mo na ba ito, Joe? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Okay, same. Not that. Uh, this is the prevalence of smoking, never smoking, and former smoking in the past 10 years. Hindi ko na ma yung up to 1988, but it's always been around 30 to 35 percent up and down siya. The FNRI survey is done every five years, eh. uh, but we could not get the whole data. Uh, if you add any year, 100 percent yan. You either smoke, never smoke, or stop smoking. So, 2012, somewhere here, the bill was passed, and this happened. Hindi ito maas yung former. Sana natin dumami. So parang tama si Andrila, sinabi niya rin kasi, smokers will not stop. Kasi may addicting ang smoking, di ba? Pero, ang current smokers bumaba from 31 to 23%. That's about 4 million less smokers. Bakit kaya? Nagmahal. Dumami yung never smokers. So, it means tax prevents smoking. It doesn't make people stop. Importante yun. Kasi, if it prevents people from smoking, that means it's hitting the price-sensitive populations. And then, so, we looked at quintiles of wealth. Ito yung 2008, 13, and 15. Yan yung prevalence rate. So you can still see that the rich smoke less. Pero in all groups, bumaba. Right? At kung tinignan mo yung absolute numbers, pinakamalaki sa poorest quintile. So, uh, I think it's a very significant group. Second yung matan pag matanda na. Sila, allowance gamit. Ito, pension ng gamit. Ang gamit nila. Marami akong pasyente na gagalit. Ito kayo pala may kasalanan. Kasi naririnig niya sa telepono. Ayan. May income yan. Ano bang sinabi ko? Matatanda. Ay, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Quintile, the richest, show the second to the poorest. Pero kasi yung next slide ko, inunahan ko na tuloy. By age group. Price sensitive ang poor. Okay. Ito yung sa age. 
ito yung relative change. No? Ito is from 9.5 to 6 point something, mga 40% reduction. Siya yung biggest in any of the age groups. Ito yung sa very old na sinasabi ko. 42%. So the very old, the very young, and the poor, sila yung pinamaan ng tobacco tap. Which is good, right? Nobody starts smoking when they're old. <laughs> Everyone who starts smoking starts uh, in their adolescence. Okay. Okay. Kailangan. Okay. So, um, it all, I'll just go quickly through this study we did, uh, interviewing mga doctors and nurses and patients in uh, public hospitals. Yung impact, ano sila, people who were admitted before tobacco tax, 2012, or saw patients before 2012, and are still seeing patients this year. So they can compare before and after. Apat ang sinabi nila na domains sa focus groups. Parang gumanda yata ang financial coverage. Dati pinapanood lang mamatay ang patients. Literally, we had to recycle needles. Kung inabutan niya yung araw, nakabalot sa periodiko sa PGH, lalagay mo sa autoclave, gagamitin mo pang draw ng blood sa patients. Tinatapon lang yung needle kapag hindi na pumapasok sa skin. Oh, so, pag nagre-reklamo na, ganun nung araw. So, hindi mo malalaman yon kung hindi ka na-confine before tobacco tax. Patients die. Ay, yung services also improve. Ngayon, may packages for pneumonia. May package for, meron nga libreng bypass ngayon, no? With certain criteria. So, nag-improve yan. Pero yung human resource, that was the problem that was aggravated. Dumami kasi yung nagko-consult. So, mas naramdaman na kulang yung tao. So, yung nurse na galit na sabi niya, ay nag -iba ba? Ang nag -iba lang, dumami yung pasyente, pero kami, lima pa rin kami dito sa isang ward na isang daan ng pasyente. Tigalawang po sila. And yung healthcare facilities, lumabas na kulang because people were now going to the hospitals, no? Okay. So, ang relationship niyan ganito. RA 1035.